Hi everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna do nothing but make spaceship noises. I've got a big pile of delay pedals here, I'm just gonna crank up that repeat knob, and I'm gonna rack the time back and forth, and hopefully at the end of this, we'll all have a pretty good idea of which ones sound best, and which ones are most musical, which ones are least musical, which ones are most fun, I don't know. You guys will figure it out for yourselves which ones you prefer. Maybe I'll figure out for myself which ones I prefer. So anyways, let's get into it. What do I have here? Starting off, I've got a pair of Boss DD3s. I've got my original, I think, MIJ DD3. The tag is covered up, so I'm not totally sure. But I use this extensively in my surf band, almost exclusively as a noise-making thing. And it just became the sound of a certain song. I've got like this ending part in a song that requires use of racking that time knob. And this is the one that does it. And then I've got the DD3T, which is a more modern version. And it has an external jack for tap tempo and stuff like that, and a direct out jack. Then I've got the Electro Harmonics Memory Toy. I've owned this since well before this channel. It's one of my favorite affordable analog delays. I just love it. And it does a great job at making those spaceship noises. Then I've got the Tysco delay, which is an analog kind of memory man style delay. Really heavy on the modulation on there. Really, really cool case. I love the case design on those Tysco pedals. The Super Weirdo by Jupiter Effects and the Fernwa by Jupiter Effects. Both pedals that get absolutely freaky. I've got the Profit Delay by TC Electronic. This was an early one on the channel for me. I modded it with a little glitch switch here. It doesn't technically do spaceship noises, but with that glitch switch and the way it breaks up when you rack the time knob, I think it's fun and I want to show it off. A newer one, the Maestro Discoverer Delay, a uh, delay pedal from Gibson that just recently came out. I like this thing. I can't wait to show that off again. The JHS 3 Series Delay, 99 bucks. It makes some really fun spaceship noises. The Stoy, another one I covered recently from Designed in Denmark is what it says on the side. This one's fun, it's really smooth and it's got an oscillator switch on here. So yeah. <laughs> the Cosmonaut version two by Matthews FX. Can't wait to show that one off. The Electro Harmonics Canyon, a modern classic in my opinion. An affordable delay, affordable, uh, you know, in air quotes, depending on, on your situation, but it's packed with options. And believe it or not, even though it's like a full digital modeling sort of thing, it does spaceship noises very, very well. The Boss DM2W, a classic. A classic that's been redone as a Wazacraft. The Pictronics Constellator, a little miniature analog style delay, an affordable board pedal, the white tape by Donner, a two-sided stereo tape style delay, and the tonal recall by Chase Bliss, the pedal I've been saving to pay for my kid's college education someday. <laughs> Another deluxe memory man bucket brigade analog style delay pedal here, just packed with options, but we're not gonna get into all those options. We're just gonna turn up the repeats and we're gonna rack that time knob. All right, first two, might as well start off with the DD3s. I'm gonna use my Fender Jagstang because it's got the wiggliest wiggle stick of all the wiggle sticks that I own. I've got a Jazzmaster trim arm installed in this right now and look at how far it is off the body. Like this thing can dive. So yeah. I'm gonna get wiggly with the delays and I'm gonna get wiggly with the guitar. And of course, I'm running through my two Princeton's rig. <laughs> Someday I'm just gonna let that run forever. I'm gonna let it run for minutes, maybe a full hour. And you guys will sit there and just endure it, right? Okay, here we go.
Yeah. <laughs> Let's compare to the DD3T. different I think this got a lot darker than the original one did Yeah, that one held up really crystal clear. Whoa! I wasn't expecting to learn anything. <laughs> about DD3s in this video. The new one, like it filters the signal or you're just losing quite a bit of the signal when you rack that time knob and it gets murky and dark and lo-fi where this stays crystal clear. Like you could probably return it to pitch if you used little tweezers and, and got it right where you started. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I'm out of tune now. This whole video is about being out of tune, right? totally different. Do they sound the same otherwise? Let's do a more normal setting here. They sound close enough with just normal operation, but something about racking that time knob changes the way that the DD3T sounds in comparison to the original. That's wild. I had, I had no idea I was gonna learn anything today. <laughs> I thought it was just running through some old favorites. What's next? While we're on boss, let's do the DM2W here. This is the Wazercraft take on Boss's original analog delay. We're off to a good start. is kind of out of control at a certain point.
That's like a perfect Jetsons landing sound. Perfect landing, guys. But yeah, you have to uh, balance that volume quite a bit if you're gonna do those settings, which makes it harder to feed in new information from your guitar because the input volume is so low. But if you're looking for those Jetson sounds, there it is. Let's do the Prophet. This is the one that I modded with an external glitch switch. And what it does is it shorts out connections across this time switch here. Noisemaker. It doesn't do that smooth analog spaceship noise sort of thing. because I love that. And it was a, you know, it's a fun little project that I did. And I came up with some fun sounds, just dicking around and circuit bending something. Let's do a newer one. The Maestro Discoverer Delay. A new delay pedal from Gibson Guitars. I already know that I like this one because I've covered it so recently. Got the modulation on. Another perfect Jetson's landing. doesn't do that smooth pitch bending thing as extreme as some of the others do, but that like Geiger counter thing that it does and the Jetsons landing as you're decreasing the pitch. Mm. Chef's kiss. This is a really wonderful sounding delay. I think they're like 159, something like that. Electro harmonics memory toy. One of my favorite analog delays. Nice and smooth. It 
doesn't do infinite. But it does a really nice, smooth, pleasing sort of spaceship noise. bad, but it doesn't do the infinite thing, does it? Let's move on to the Canyon, also from Electro Harmonics. One that I think people might be surprised by the quality of his spaceship noises and just the other sounds that it can do as well. It's got, a, it's a multi-delay. It's got a lot of different sounds here. I tend to leave it on the Deluxe Memory Ram setting. <laughs> Oh, that's too much fun. <laughs> at, a, at a point there, it sounded like a cow mooing. Something I like to do with this. <coughs> something I like to do with Something I like to do with this is it has built-in tap tempo. You just tap it and it starts going into tap tempo mode. And you can change that delay time and it'll shift the pitch. That sort of thing just makes it really useful and fun for freaky, freaky noises on the fly. You don't even have to have the feedback all the way up to irresponsible levels like that. Yeah. 
just changing the time a little bit by tapping it can give you these really fun little glitchy like sorts of sounds that are just really, really great for live playing. So yeah, another one that I recommend. JHS 3 Series. $99 pedals, minimal graphics, three knobs, one mod switch. That's really gritty. It doesn't seem to do infinite repeats. Maybe I'll try the lower type on here. There we go. So I think the top position on the type introduces filtering which is killing off the infinite repeats eventually. On the lower setting, it's got infinite repeats with no filtering that just take off and go wild. Really fun lo-fi like washing machine sound there. <laughs> the Tysco. I just love this case design. They come out with a couple pedals. I hope they come out with more because they're just so beautiful. There's something so satisfying about just touching it. Just touching it feels nice. <laughs> this is a bit of a wild delay though. It really leans into that heavy modulation on always on the edge of just taking off without you sorts of delay sound. ones where the feedback like you kind of have to ride it like a little bit too close to noon and you are in infinite feedback zone and that modulation That's right, it's a really pretty sounding delay. Just bonkers. This is a delay where like 
for normal usability, you've got to kind of sit there and spend time figuring out how to dial it in just right because little things can result in big, like freaky sounds with that modulation and just how sensitive like the feedback control is. But man, it's a beautiful looking pedal. When dialed in really great, it's got this really lush, beautiful sound to it. Let's do the affordaboard delay here. The white tape by Donner. This is two delays in one pedal. It's a stereo delay, but you have to be plugged in stereo to get stereo out, I think. Or maybe you can run mono in and stereo out. I'm not gonna try to do that right now, but basically you've got two banks of delay control. So you have two delays to work with there. You can like stack them into each other by, you know, kind of like jumper cabling over and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna explore the spaceship. <laughs> Kind of an interesting, like smooth and soft sort of sound from that. It's got like this grit that's happening. But there's a bit of like some sort of filtering on that that gives it this very interesting kind of flavor. I find it fascinating that all of these so far have very different sounds across the range of their time control when you're doing these, you know, oscillating sounds. Cosmonaut next. This is the Cosmonaut by Matthews Effects, the Cosmonaut version two anyways. What I like about this pedal is that kind of like that white tape, it's two delays. It can actually be a delay and a reverb or a reverb and a reverb. There's slider switches here that allows you to select between different sounds, but I leave it on double delay because you can switch between those two banks with the flick of a momentary switch right here and it does this jump from time to time that is kind of like a cross between this and this <laughs> in its functionality. And it has a special place in my heart. I'll say it. <laughs> Like this is a sort of delay that's a really fun live tool for making freaky sounds. So you've got one time right here and you've got the other time right there. And you can flick it back and forth as fast as you want. Do 
Toy next. Another fun recent pedal. This one fit on the camera. It's a little big, isn't it? This one has an oscillator switch, so you can leave it at a normal setting. Mm -hmm. a time switch as well. because across the two different time selections on the switch, I think you have like 200 milliseconds, something like that. So you're not getting into extreme octave effects and stuff like that by racking that time knob. But it's the trade-off there is it's really smooth. Like if you're looking for like a really smooth, like pretty sort of time modulation sound, it's there. And this is honestly a really fun analog delay for live use. I've used it live already so I can speak from experience on that. for some really creative kind of soundscape shaping. But it's absolutely not like the most extreme version. Let's get into the Jupiter effects now. Hopefully these don't destroy our ears too badly, right? This one's technically a dirt pedal with an integrated like delay section to it. That delay time is connected to this momentary switch, so you have to have this pressed while you're racking this. Otherwise... up to his name. It is super weird. So the story behind this one is that Jupiter sent it to me when I was doing my uh, my free COVID unboxings for the industry. I was like, hey, anyone out there, 
Send me your pedals, I'll unbox them for free. And this was sent to me and apparently I saved this pedal cause it was on the list to be kind of like not made anymore. What's the word for that? I can't think of the word for that, but it, it wasn't gonna be made anymore. And then I did the video and they sold out and it saved the pedal. So the super weirdo lives on because I did an unboxing video of it. pedal all of you that buy these and use them i want to hear the songs i want to hear the recordings that these are ending up on here's the fernway fernois not totally sure how to pronounce it this is an extremely dangerous dual delay so you've got one bank of controls over here another bank over here and then you have knobs that i have never really gotten it into adjusting very much because when you press this middle button, I think that's what those affect. And it is a full volume assault on your amplifiers that just takes off like crazy. That's a setting that just has this side, and this setting has both sides engaged. some really beautiful sounds in there some really fun moments tweaking both knobs at the same time this is an unruly pedal though like you you have to be down to be in partnership with the fern wall and allow it to make creative decisions for you because it's going to there's two left let's do the constellator and then we'll wrap up with the tonal recall
just disappears at the highest time setting. interesting it goes from a really dirty dark analog delay and just jumps into this super low rumble some people are gonna love that I don't think it's my favorite but I think it's a good sounding analog delay otherwise here we go the college fund for my kids Why is it getting so wacky? It's because it was on a preset. All right. song that starts with that noise? That sounds very familiar. It's a lot like the Tysco in that there's a lot of volume control you need to get over when you're you know doing the, the spaceship sounds and stuff like that. It takes off like crazy. It's doing that deluxe memory man thing where it just is gonna go bonkers bananas. And uh, you know, <laughs> it's kind of a beast in its own ways. This is obviously a very specific pedal. This is obviously not a pedal a lot of people are gonna have. It's unobtainium at this point. I think it's dis continued. That was the word I was looking for earlier. I think it's discontinued and Chase Bliss is leaning into the Thermae for the delay for the time being. 
It can be a beautiful sounding delay and it's got a lot of really weird and wonderful features. I don't think it's my favorite as far as spaceship sounds go. Now before we get into picking these, I have two dirt pedals, believe it or not, that make spaceship noises. They're not delays at all. They are dirt pedals. Maybe I should pick like my favorite three or something like that. Maybe I should pick like my favorite three or something like that and combine them for the end of the video. This is the Wave Cannon 2 by Caroline. And this is what it does. pedal but if you modulate the volume either here or from your guitar while using this momentary switch yeah yeah you saw what happens and this is the moth the m-o-t-h by fuzz rocious and it has it has that it has a built-in like self oscillating ring modulator octave sort of thing i'm not sure exactly how to describe it Most of the time, it's a gated fuzz like that, but you turn on that switch there. that I think I'm going to keep forever just because of how wacky it is. And it's, it's a great sounding fuzz by itself, but that extra option in there, that's a set ender guys. You stack that before a bunch of delays. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to use that before whatever I pick here as my favorite. This is going to be hard. How I'm going to pick a favorite. I think I'm going to disqualify a few. Like the, uh, the Jupiter effects ones are fun, but not quite exactly what I look for in spaceship noises. Same for the again, again, like it sounds really good. It sounds really smooth and nice, but I'm not looking for smooth and nice. Am I? I'm looking for extreme sounds. The cosmonaut, I really love switching between those sounds, but it's not the extreme sounds. Same for the constellator and even the memory toy. Ooh, now it gets tougher. The white tape is out. It was fine, but I didn't fall in love with it. The Prophet is fun. It's glitchy, but not so much. Maybe this won't be as hard as I thought. Um, classic DD3 beats 
the modern DD3. This, the, uh, the DM2W, uh, it has that volume control issue. Same for the Tysco. Wow. I guess that about pairs it down, doesn't it? I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. <laughs> so let's, what order am I gonna go for here? I think something like that will work. This is gonna be nonsense. I'm sure it's what everyone has stayed tuned for though, right? Hoping that this would happen. All right.
have survived that? Are any of you still here? <laughs> what do you think? Did I decide correctly? Were there any of these that you would have picked over any of these? This video is fun. I had a lot of fun making this. I've been filming for an hour and a half. No regrets. No regrets at all. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude and nasty comments, support us on Patreon, buy a shirt if you're naked, click all my links. I'm hoping to get links for all of these, even though that's kind of a, a lot of work. 18 pedals, including those drives. I'm gonna do it. Links down below, click the links. Using affiliate links helps me a lot. If you click, like say, a Sweetwater or an Amazon or a Toman affiliate link, and you just look at what I had, and then you think, hmm, there was that other thing that I wanted to buy. I'm gonna go buy that. Because you did it in the same session as clicking my link, even though you're not buying the thing that I showed you, it still helps me out. It helps put money in my pocket so that I can put diapers on the table and food over my family's head. So thank you very much for using the affiliate links if you decide to do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Stay grounded. Bye everybody.